Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews and Boker Tov. This Shabbat, we're going to learn about the risen Yehoshua. So let's go through this step by step. First, the garden tomb. So what is a tomb? Well, tombs are places where Hebrews used to bury their dead. These tombs were usually dug out in the solid rock. Can you imagine digging into solid rock? And sometimes tombs were made in caves that were already there. We can read about tombs in Judges 8, verses 32, 2 Samuel 2, verses 32, and 2 Kings 9, verses 28, and then again in 2 Kings 23, verse 30. You see, tombs were sometimes made in gardens, little Hebrews, and we can read about that also in 2 Kings 21, verse 26, 2 Kings 23, verse 16, and Matthew 27, verse 60. You see, there are many tombs in and around Yerushalayim and all over the land of Yisrael. Now, when Yehoshua was taken off the stake, his body was laid in a new tomb that belonged to a man named Yosef, and it was cut into the solid rock in a garden near to Calvary. So let's hear the story as it's written in John 19, verse 38 through 42. And after the death of Yehoshua, Yosef of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Yehoshua, but in secret, because he was afraid of the Hebrews, he went to Pilate and begged him that he would let him take away the body of Yehoshua. Pilate told him, okay, and, Yo and Yosef came and took the body of Yehoshua. Now Nicodemus brought about a hundred pounds of mixture of myrrh and aloes and then they took the body of Yehoshua and wrapped it in linen cloths with the spices of myrrh and aloes, which at that time was a custom of the Hebrews, little Hebrews, when they buried their dead. Now in the place where Yehoshua was put to death, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new sepulcher, which is a fancy big word that means tomb. And this tomb had never had a man laid in it. This is where they laid Yehoshua because it was close by. And you see, it was the Hebrews' preparation day. And they were getting ready for Passover. After Yehoshua was buried and the chief priests and Pharisees went to Pilate and told him that they wanted Yehoshua's tomb guarded because Yehoshua had said, after three days, I will rise again. Well, Pilate told them that they had a watch or guards and to go protect the tomb themselves. So they made sure the stone at the opening of the tomb was completely sealed. It had to completely seal the tomb. And they set guards to watch to see that no one took Yehoshua's body. You know what happened next, little Hebrews? Well, well, there was a huge earthquake, and a Malachim of Yah came down from heaven and headed straight for the tomb. You see, that Malachim's purpose was to roll back the stone that sealed the tomb of Yehoshua. Little Hebrews, did you know that there was a huge earthquake when Yehoshua died also? And with that... This is the first part of our lesson, and now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.